Hey guys, this is Terrace from 2 Plus 2 and I'm making a tutorial video for Table Ninja. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Table Ninja in cash games. I'll start by going through the basic setup, then I'll go through some features that I think every cash game player can use, and finally I'll open up some tables and show you Table Ninja in action. The first time you run Table Ninja you will need to go through the setup process. The first step is to select your language. Table Ninja will automatically translate our online documentation into this language using Google Translate. The next step is to select your table layout. This setting tells Table Ninja how your tables are arranged while you're playing poker. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be tiling, so I'll select the tiled layout. In the final step, Table Ninja will attempt to automatically detect your configuration. For most people, the automatic configuration will be successful, and you'll see a message notifying you of this here. In rare cases, the automatic configuration may fail, and Table Ninja will tell you that you will need to configure the program manually. In this case, a browser will automatically open with manual configuration instructions. Now that setup's complete, we can click Start Table Ninja to start assigning hotkeys and using all of Table Ninja's great features. The first time you run Table Ninja, it will automatically open our configuration guide in a browser. This guide contains important information about PokerStars and Windows settings that are required for Table Ninja to run properly. I encourage you all to review this guide on your own. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to go over these settings, and instead we'll just start setting up Table Ninja's features. I'm going to start by setting up some hotkeys on the Action Hotkeys tab. This tab lets you set up hotkeys to do things like bet, call, check, fold, act in advance, or increment the bet size. First, I'm going to assign my right mouse button to the Advanced Action Check Fold hotkey. To do this, I just click in the box and press the right mouse button. I'm also going to assign hotkeys to bet, call, check, and fold. Again, I just click in the box and press the key or mouse button that I want to assign a hotkey to. With these hotkeys set up, I can now fold and advance at my tables by pressing my right mouse button, bet at my tables by pressing A, call at my tables by pressing S, etc. Next, I'm going to go to the Table Control tab. This tab lets me set up which tables my hotkey should target. Table Ninja always frames the target table in red, and this is the table where your hotkey actions will take effect. I'm going to be playing in the table under mouse mode, which means that my hockey actions will always be sent to the table under my cursor. So to use a hockey at a table, I just move my cursor over that table and press the desired hockey. I'm also going to set up the cycle to first in line table hockey. This is one of the most useful hotkeys in Table Ninja. It will instantly jump you to the table that has been awaiting action the longest, so that you can find urgent tables and act at them accordingly. Next I'm going to go over the Pot Betting tab. This tab contains the default bets, which are one of the most important features in Table Ninja. Default bets are bet amounts that are automatically entered into the bet box the instant it becomes your turn, based on the street and the situation. For my preflop default bet, I'm going to set Table Ninja to raise to 4 big blinds plus 1 big blind per limper in limped pots, and to 3 bet to 100% of the pot. This means that anytime it's my turn preflop, Table Ninja will automatically enter 4 big blinds plus 1 per limper in the bet box in limped pots, or 100% of the pot in raised pots. I'm going to make my default flop bet 80% of the pot, my default turn bet 75% of the pot, and my default river bet 70% of the pot. Finally, I'm going to set Table Ninja to round all pot bets to one small blind. This is a nice feature if you want to avoid betting odd amounts, like $6.53. Table Ninja will make sure that all your bet amounts are multiples of the small blind. These default bets can really speed up your play, especially preflop where you're usually betting a standard amount. Keep in mind that the default bets are just baselines that are put into the bet box automatically. You're free to tweak the size to your liking before you actually make a bet. The next set of really crucial features for cash game players are on the Annoyances tab. First I'm going to start with the Automatically Handle Big Blind Annoyances feature. This feature will automatically wait for your big blind and then auto post, even at non-fast PokerStars tables. I'm also going to enable the automatically click time bank feature. This will cause Table Ninja to click the time bank any time it appears at all of your tables. This means you can literally never time out without using up your entire time bank. Finally, I'm going to use the sit out next big blind all tables hotkey. This hotkey will wait for it to be your next turn to post the big blind at each table and then sit you out. It will never sit out on the small blind and waste your money. This feature lets you sit out at every table with a single button, which makes ending your sessions incredibly simple. Next I'm going to set up the opening and closing tab. 
This tab contains the automatic seating and buy-in, which are some of the most useful features for cash game players that Tailwind Ninja offers. I'm going to check the automatically take a seat box and the automatically handle buy-in pop-up box. I'm going to buy in for 100% of the max because I'll be full stacking. And what this will do is as soon as I double click a table in the Poker Stars lobby, Table Ninja will automatically seat me at that table and buy me in for my specified amount. This makes opening a lot of tables quickly really simple and can really streamline your game. I'm also going to turn on the Close All Tables hotkey. This hotkey will close every table you have open with a single button, so it's great to use after you've sat out at all your tables with the Set Out Next Big Blind All Tables hotkey. The last thing I'm going to set up here is the Disable Hotkeys toggle down at the bottom. This hotkey is a master hotkey that will turn all the other hotkeys off. If you press it once, the box will turn red, meaning that hotkeys are off. And if you press it again, it'll turn green, meaning that they're back on. This is a useful tool to use if you want to take notes or type in chat without having to worry about accidentally pressing one of your assigned hotkeys. Now that everything's all set up, I'm going to go ahead and open some tables here. The first thing you'll notice as I do so is that Table Ninja has automatically seated me and bought me in for the maximum at this table. It's also popped the lobby back up so I can easily join more tables quickly. You'll also notice in this top left table, this was a non-fast table, but Table Ninja automatically auto-posted the blinds and sat me in on my big blind. I'll open a few more here and you can see just how easy it is to open tables with Table Ninja. I'm going to go ahead and fold this using my fold hotkey, which was F. I move my cursor over the table because I'm in table under mouse. I hit the fold hotkey, and table ninja instantly folds for me. Now that I've got a few tables up and running, I'm going to play with table ninja for a bit to show you what it's like. So you can see at this top left table here, I've been dealt queen 10. As soon as it became my turn, table ninja automatically put a 13 cents in the bet box. That's the custom 3 bet size that I specified on my default bet size. I'm going to go ahead and call here using my call hotkey, which was S, so I'm going to put my cursor over the table, press S, and I've instantly called. I'm now going to go ahead and check using my check hotkey, which was D. You can see table under checks at this table. We'll get another chance to see the default bets in action here at the top left table. So you can see 12 cents was automatically put into the bet box for me here, which is a 80% pot bet in the situation. We can also see the default bet at my right hand table over here. I specify that I wanted to open to four big blinds plus one per limper. There's a one out of position limper here. So table ninja put in 10 cents, which is four times the big blind plus one per limper. As all this is happening, you may notice that I started to time down at my left hand two tables and table ninja automatically clicked the time bank for me at both of them. Now it just clicked the time bank at the top right table either. So without me lifting a finger, table ninja has stop me from timing out at any of my tables. And I can also fold at all three tables very quickly using my fold hotkey and just moving my cursor from table to table. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I'm going to close all these tables using my close all tables hotkey. Normally you'd want to obviously wait for your blind and sit out first, but to keep this video short I'll just go ahead and do that right now. You can see all the tables are instantly closed. And that should give you a taste of what playing with table ninja is like. So hopefully now that you've seen Table Ninja in action a bit, you can see how useful Table Ninja can be for cash game players. Since this was a getting started video, I only went through some of the more basic features. There are a few advanced features that I highly recommend you guys check out once you're comfortable with the program. One of these feature sets is the automatic waitlist handling features. You can set Table Ninja to automatically come off waitlists, and you can tell it a maximum number of tables you want to play, and Table Ninja will accept waitlist seats up to that maximum and then reject them once you've reached your desired number of tables. If you go to the pot betting tab, you can also see that you can set pot bet percentage hotkeys here, and these will bet specified percentages of the pot with a single hotkey. So by using these and the default bets, you can really fine tune your bet sizing. The final feature I thought I'd mention is that Table Ninja lets you customize your scroll wheel, so you can set your scroll wheel to change the bet size by a custom amount. And this can be a really nice way to tweak your bet sizing. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you have any feedback on this video, I'd love to hear it. You can post on the Table Ninja forums at tnforums.tableninja.com, and I'd like to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching.